question and that answer. So this, this world is like if we try to see a human body but in a round shape. So every continent and every region of the planet would be related to one of the organs of our bodies, to our bones, to our blood, and we can try to imagine it or to figure it if we trace the main line of the body in the Atlantic Ocean. Imagine the Atlantic Ocean from the front and you will have the breathing nose in the island of Greenland. This is what makes the spirit to control the weather by the breath of hot and cold air and then you have by the side the pineal gland which is Iceland. From there you can find the whole chest of the body in the North Atlantic Ocean and by the sides the two lungs in the Congo forest and the rainforest of Amazonia. The throat chakra of the planet would be North America and the vocal cords would be the Appalachian Mountains and all the East Coast. This means that whatever happens in that region would reach the whole world because it's the world, the language to connect everything. In the left side of the world we have Europe and Europe would be the heart with Great Britain being the high heart chakra. Africa, South of Africa and all the plateau that includes the three Great Lakes and Somalia, Ethiopia until Tanzania will be all the region of the root chakra. The root chakra will connect with the origin and the strength to the roots of the planet. That also connects with South America through two lines that connects in the middle with the womb of the planet. The region that now is it's called Tristan da Cunha and it's the core of the creation where Pangea was connected in the south. Connected to the root chakra, Patagonia means the end of the spine of the planet. So the energy of South America, the region of Patagonia with the region of Drakenberg in Africa are both connected to the roots and the origin to the core of the planet. The region of Middle East, India, will be one of the kidneys and also, of course, the adrenal glands. That means that this region would be one of the most powerful regions to clean the blood, to create the blood and also to be the energy to create everything, to purify the blood, the water of the planet. So that's why it's one of the biggest portals through where all the energy to create comes. The other kidney, it is the region of Australia and New Zealand. This region is also a creationist region connected to the Mu civilization. Asia would mean the sacrum chakra, so the plexus. This means that China, Taklamakan Desert, Gobi Desert, Mongolia, Tibet, Japan represents the stomach, represents the region where the, all the process of the being is done. All the water in the planet would represent the blood. Every river, every lake, every sea, every ocean would represent all the registry of the blood. And the most important part of the planet is the one connecting the whole body, the spine that connects all the neurological system of the planet which would go from the Andes in South America to Central America and through North America, the Rocky Mountains in Alaska to reach the brain of the planet which is the North Pole. All the conscious planets of the Confederation used to be in the fourth dimension. So they were...